everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 322. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Scott. And in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including, but never limited to, designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, artists, whatever we can bring you. We have you. all of that in this episode. We do. Wow. That's crazy. We? Yeah. We kind of do. Actually, you're right. Let's start, as we always do, by thanking our ToyBreak.com site sponsors, like 3D Retro. Happy Panda Toys. Tomonosuke. Suburban Vinyl. And DKE Toys. Thank you so much to all of them. Be sure to go to ToyBreak.com and click on the, the sponsors because they have wonderful wares and toys and interesting things to peruse and purchase. George? George. Would you like... You George. can buy a George there. George. Would you like to tell us about the contest going on right now? We have a Hell Gladiator contest. It's a three-inch custom JPK Dunny by Blazin Brickhouse from blazinbrickhouse.bigcartel.com. And it could be yours by liking Toy Break <laughs> and Blazin Brickhouse on Facebook and tagging both of us in a Facebook post telling us that you want the Hell Gladiator. September 17th is the deadline. Okay, so in case that's unclear... It's unclear to me, and I'm the one saying it. So you just like both pages on Facebook. Okay, done. Like Toy Break, like Blazing Brickhouse. Done. And then just make a post that tags us on Facebook. Can you tag a Toy Break? Because it's a company? What is a Toy Break? I think you have to tag you as a person. You can't tag a Toy Break? I don't know. You can't tag a company or something. I don't I think, think you, you can. can. I don't think you can. There is something weird, because like, people keep telling me to make an artist page, because yeah. they can't tag me. Really? Yeah, in it. Like, I think Ben. You can't tag an artist page. Dr. Retro. Right. Was I don't, so this me. might be a problem. If it is a problem, just tag Ailey, at Aileen Caspar, and she'll see it. And she'll take care of it, because you, you came what? up with the contest. If you thing. have a problem doing that, just make a post on the Toy Break doc, on the Facebook Toy Break, Toy Break page. page. Yeah, that's fine. And say, I want the Blazing Brick House help. Blazing Brick? That's probably House. even better. House. That's probably even better. Just make a post on the Toy Break page that's saying you want Blazing Brick House. But the few people I have seen come through already, don't worry. I already saw the, the entries. Okay, you're so entered. We're good. You're good. Good to go. She's writing them all down on a piece of paper, analog style. So analog. <laughs> so analog, dude. Hey, George, what's going on right now? Would you like to remind people of anything? Uh, don't forget to vote for us at the Designer Toy Awards at designertoyawards.com. When you we say are vote for us. Best blog, even though we don't have a blog, nor are we in any way involved in a blog. Maybe somebody they could vote for somebody else on the couch, too. N no, just us. Vote for us. <laughs> Designer Toy Awards. Best blog. Scott, <laughs> do you have something in the uh, Designer Toy when Awards? When does that end? The first, right? September 1st? That sounds correct. I think September Wait, 1st. Wait, is, is it already over? Voting's over? September 1st, I think. Oh, oh then forget then it. Never mind. Erase this part. If it's not... Cut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I thought September 1st, but I You're could be You're probably wrong. right. I thought it was a little bit later than that. Okay. You're probably right. Um, if it is open, um, vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have other exciting things going on. Um, we have So George and I, are you doing this? Are you going to do it? I'm doing it. Yes, you are? You are? I guess. Did you sign up on the page yet? No, I said... I'm going to sign you up right now. I said, Kathy, you have to sign me up if I'm going to do it. So you I'm have to raise I'll 50 bucks. I'll sign you bucks. up right now. I have to, how do I raise 50 bucks? That's By doing what right we're now. about to do right now. Okay, so, you well. guys, in a, uh, in October, we are joining some of our friends at the Chalk Walk, which is the Children's Hospital of Orange County. Uh, it's an awesome... And actually, you know more about their services currently. Um, yes, it's a children's hospital that's located in Orange County. <laughs> And they take they care of kids. They provide a lot of different services, every kind of health care, mental care, anything that kids might need, that's what Chalk provides. And it's a really great resource. And growing up here in Southern California, I've known a lot of different families who have used their services and benefited mm -hmm. from their organization. And I mean, it's a really good organization. I'm really happy to support them. Uh, Scott's daughter actually right now is in one of their programs. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to be walking with her. And we're happy to be walking with the tallest. And yes, yeah, we're happy you're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. But if you want to support us, you can go to, there's links in the show notes at toybreak.com. You can go support. George already has his 50 Everybody bucks has to, to raise support. 50 bucks to be able to walk. So, and you're, the money you're raising is going directly to yes. Chalk, the Children's Hospital. So you can click on the link for Aileen's page or for Scott's page because yeah. he has to register and, and raise that money as well. Yeah. Um, or last so. page. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, make sure, pages. go if you can, if you feel like donating a dollar, whatever you want, five dollars, 
Go donate. Click on Aileen's page. I've already raised mine. Thank you to everyone who's donated to mine. <laughs> Um, I put it up first and snuck in and got everybody's votes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to everyone who donated on my page. Now go donate on Aileen so she can raise 50 and walk with us. But it's going to be super fun, and I'm really excited to be helping this cause. I'm, it's fun. It's, it's a good very cause. Nice. And very you cool. can stay dry because you don't have to dump a bucket of ice water in your head. That's true. All you have to do is donate. Yeah. <laughs> It's absolutely true. We also need to say hi to someone. We do. Uh, we were driving down the street um, in Sherman Oaks on Woodman. Were we on Woodman? We were on Woodman. On Woodman. And a, a fellow in the car next to us was frantically waving us down, rolled down the window, and he was like, what's up? I love toy break. So, hey, guy in the car. Hi. Uh, we don't know who you are. And we sped away because we were scared. No. Um, <laughs> I was completely taken off. I was like, wait, what? What's happening? Uh, no, I the was light, in a food coma. by the time we saw him, the light had, the light had just turned green. So like we went different ways. And then also, if you remember, while we were at Disneyland, there was a girl that called your name out while we were leaving. She was not looking at me. That was a she, completely different thing. No, she said George. We all heard it, and she was waving at us. I don't think she was looking at me. She said George as we passed. So and hi she to her. Was all right, waving. if it's if that's somebody, so if we'll say watching, hello to her too. Say hello to her. <laughs> But what's up, guy on Woodman? <laughs> we actually, for a moment, George actually thought that you were waving him down because he cut you off. Or I was like, did I cut this guy off or something? Like, what's uh, going on over here? We rolled the window down. And he was like, it's hey, like, don't ah. We're like, oh, good. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you God so God, it much. wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough of that stuff. But thank you also for saying hello. Serious uh, Let's time. get into some reviews, some toy reviews. Oh, wait. Well, before we get into reviews, don't forget to go over. This is the new Bob's Burger comic book that just Ooh. came out. Um, and you can get an exclusive Rivet Gallery um, copy. They have the little, each each person that does an exclusive, the little picture down here, oh, the store cool. next to Bob's Burgers, changes. So Rivet Gallery has one that says Rivet Gallery up here with the little Rivet logo in the window. Oh, that is so cool. cool. Um, and you can yeah. order theirs on their website right now. I think it's five bucks or something like that. That's a good idea, actually. Um, That's pretty funny. Limited edition. I yeah. think there's only 500 of them. Limited edition for Rivet Gallery. So support an indie to comic shop or support an indie toy shop. Do you know how many get different exclusives there are? There, yeah, yeah there's, he does. Oh, it's in there? In the back, they wow. showed all the different ones. And it, oh, what is that yeah. here? 16 right here. Um, wow. And you've ordered like eight of them. I have. I think I have a little more than half of them on the way. So It doesn't. Now it's just on the cover. In this, in the, Everything yeah, inside is the same. The same. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, so go ahead and pick up your Rivet Gallery Bob's Burger. Yay! Issue one. Or if you're in Ohio, go to Rivet Gallery. And good on Laura for getting on that. For getting yeah. on the first issue of that's Bob's so Burger. That's like, that's so cool. I love mm -hmm. Bob's Burger. All right. So up first. First toy. Uh, this was kindly donated to Toy Break, so uh, I think this is going to be a new thing for us here. By a friend. By a friend, yes. Thank you very much. Um, this is going to be the first toy on Toy Break that we don't open. What if I just open it when you're not looking? Please don't open it. Let's um, break and it. The only reason I say that is because I say thrasher. kind of the charm of this piece is the whole package. Yeah. He looks doesn't look great out of the package. Like he doesn't look. I agree. It's the, the back. The back card is like part of it and you know me i love mashup toys and i love stuff that like takes other people's properties and uses them so this is no um so this is from 8-bit zombie and it's thrashor 2.0 um yeah they originally did one that was like a a bootleg where they actually mm -hmm. like just used well, an actual he-man yeah an actual he-man and they molded and cast it and i have a question for it. you if you saw that outside of the package would you think it was he-man related i, I think so I think it's got I think enough it's right, of the... I think it's right there where you might or might not. You know what I mean? I don't it, think I would. Because he, he looks he manish, manish, mm -hmm. But uh, he... Um, I don't know. I don't it, know if I would... It's just off he -Man. enough that it's... Yeah, yeah, because it's not the classic body, He-Man body, but it's close. If it weren't on the card, I wouldn't think He-Man. But then if you said, oh, look, that's kind of He-Man, I'd be like, oh, it totally is. Yeah. I think the belt is one thing that might tip me off. That tips it to He-Man, yeah. yeah. And I mean, and that was what the, that was the nice thing about this figure that I liked is that they didn't just bootleg a He-Man figure; mm -hmm. they actually re-sculpted it yeah. and did a whole sculpt of their own, which is really cool. Um, and if you're gonna do it, do that. Yeah. Like, that, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, and they're using the classic, you know, He-Man background from the original cards. Even on the back, it's got it's very He-Man art. <laughs> I mean, here, it's, check that it's out. It's the most radical zombie in all of it, Eternia. All right, so again, this is a five and a half inch vinyl figure with six points of articulation, not that we'll ever know because it's in a package. And of course, it comes with 
uh, accompanying skateboard. This sells for $75 over at 8bitzombie.bigcartel.com. Do you think these numbers at the bottom mean anything? Or are they just put... Uh, yeah, I mean, it has a lot of... tested. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it has a lot of, like... like uh, Well, 1982. No, I don't know, what eight do you call bit, them? Conformed to 8-bit zombie. That's a, 8BZ. 82 to 88. That's not a real... 82 to 8 was That's probably the years, the of, years of He Man. Right. 1982 is when it came out. 5081, I don't know. G8. <laughs> it's, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty well thought yeah, out. Yeah, it is well thought out. Like number 5081. That was what the little logo used to be on there, and yeah. they always had a little number above it. I don't know what their 5081 stands for, but like, I'm sure it's something. Yeah, it's really well done. Yeah. It definitely is. Like, it's a little it's on the cool. expensive side. I actually would love, I would love one to open to have a second one to open, and they actually have a thing on their site if you want one that doesn't, if it's if you don't care if the blister's damaged or if the card's damaged, you can have fifteen dollars off. Really? Um, so if you wanted to get one that you could have mm-hmm. opened, you can do that. But that's still even sixty is a little bit, for me, it's a little much to have one that's open. That's great though that they're offering. I discounted one. Yeah, the blister is really good. Like how the skateboard's tilted and everything. It's really cool. Yeah. Really I love model. the Nintendo Power Glove on his hand. Like, yeah. I hope they do the other. I hope they do the Skeletor color too. It's like, even the it's even the same font. Yeah. As He Man, like this whole font is exactly the same. It's fun, right? It's, it's yeah. you could tell it's, it's cool. made by people that have a love for what they're doing. Definitely. And actually, speaking of that, they um, I went when I went back on to check if I can get one to open. Um, they have this um, a, a little kit that you can buy that I just had to get. I had to be a part of. Um, so it's, I, th- I can't remember what it was. It was only a couple bucks. Um, and it's the 8-Bit, eight 8-Bit eight Zombie Kids Club member pack. And that's the Kids Club, bur- isn't that the Burger King Kids Club logo? <laughs> it looks oh, like it, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a Kids Club member pack. And it's actually pretty Ooh. awesome, the stuff that's in here. Here's a Sour Patch Kid and some more candy. And a little red muscle man. <sighs> My, some the thing that made me like, all right, I'm ordering it. It yeah. came with a coin, so it has the Power Glove logo wow. that they use on their site, and a My Pet Monster like. Hmm, a fan club that comes with a coin. Where's that? What's that gonna be like? Huh? I don't know. Um, Watch OctoberToys.com in October. What? Sneak peeks. So it's also got the official member, and it's got the little My Pet Monster yeah. awesome. thing on there. And one of their logos with the Kids Club logo. It's fun. It comes with a couple of stickers <laughs> of Very a couple cool. of those dudes, which are oh, that right thing. here. Um, it has an official patch. Another sticker. And then, of course, the card. Wow. The membership card. Um, it's It's got everything that like an 80s kit needs. Like It's perfect. So if you like this kind of stuff, Go stay, get tu- it. stay tuned. Well, yeah. If you like 80s... Teaser. I'm teasing. If you like 80s club kit packs. Um, but we're kind of suckers for this. Like, we... I love all those club things. What were the cards that were in here? I was just wondering. Loser Lucas. Alf. Pretty good. That's yeah, cute. Are That's good. cute. So all that is from 8bitzombie.bigcartel.com. Yes. So go get that stuff. It's awesome. Can me that big box, please? Big box. All right, so next up we have, and I hope I'm going to say this right, Orion? I think it's called Orion. You know what, let's, can we put these down for a minute? Yeah, put them down. It's like Toy Break sponsored by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Yeah, there's, there's more room. Here we go. What the heck is that? Orion. Uh, would you like to open this? Whoa. So this is Ooh. from Magitarius. These are vinyl, giant vinyl figures here. I believe they are... Actually, 12 not meters. Sure. They're, not 12, they're not 12 meters tall. In real life, they're 12 meters. Oh, this sucker is huge. Oh, smell it. It's like an adult smell boy it. in here or something. Pull it out, pull it out. I can't see it. Whoa. So this... Holy is, cow. It's a giant <laughs> vinyl figure. This one is... They're available in clear. Uh, that's a great smell. Blue, red, or glow-in-the-dark. They sell for $45 each at Magitarius.com. And I'm really excited that they sent us over a copy to check out. I have no idea what it is, but it's big, so that means it's cool. (laughs) I am kind of a sucker for things with tentacles. I like things with tentacles, and the fact that they're articulated tentacles 
really cool. Whoa, even that part changes. Ooh. Kind of like a tag in here. Seems really big. Magitarius. I could not tell from the pictures online. I, I, I honestly thought it was going to be like a six inch. This also like is very throwback for the packaging. It doesn't like harken to anything specific like um, He-Man. It's kind of just seventies. But yeah, it's got like it's got a, a real alien vibe or yeah, a, even like, even a uh, outer space man. What were the? Uh, well, this this is like the Orion logo. That's uh, of the movie. It should be centered though. But, uh, <laughs> from uh, RoboCop, right? Or like the production house that was Orion. Yeah. Yes. And this like illustrations like totally like. Um, what's what's that classic. line of figures that the uh, everybody loves? It's those they a lot of clears like their action figures. Um, um, like the. Um, why is the I name know what you're off talking the about? It's gone out of uh, my brain. Micronauts. Micronauts. It's very Micronauts on that side panel. Yeah. That was a terrible description. Oh, here, you see. Would you like to read us the? I knew what you were thinking. That the flavor is... text. Are these all coming? Like, look at these awesome. I hope so. It, which one is this on there? I don't even think it's, it's on there. It's not on there. It's not in the Is that like outlines. a fake tease kind of thing, though? I hope I it's hope a not, real tease. I want that one. Wow. Yeah, these are cool. So there's nine other like outlines of aliens on one side. Are those going to be put into production? Who knows? Maybe. And I want this skull astronaut guy right here. Look at that. So look how cool that is. That's how tall like a person's <laughs> oh supposed to be. And that's wow. how tall this is supposed to be. Um. Okay. This is great. Now you said they're in three different colors. Four different colors right now. You can get it in clear, blue, red, or glow in the dark. I keep Pretty wanting cool, to right? see like, I keep wanting to see like a light source, in the, in inside of this. You I know? bet you could pull that off and put a light source in there. Yeah, can make it a lamp. <laughs> a lamp. Here's Bob my Bob Conch style, life. where you put those little balls if, that you shake. Yeah, exactly. Put. That's what I was. What if you had like twenty of these just hanging from your ceiling at different heights? That'd be pretty cool. That would be really cool. Magitarius. Oh, you everybody have done buy it them. Again. Everybody buy them so that they don't have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the smell too. It's that. I think this is a great figure, and for seventy-five or for forty-five dollars, that's a nice that's, chunk of plastic. That's forty-five. Look at this. It's a, it's a 75 and 45. <laughs> it's a different product. I'm just saying. This is awesome. I love the articulated tentacles. I'm, I it's, actually think it's almost like a cool art piece just to have out on your living room. Yeah, definitely a conversation it. piece. Is there a story to this? Do you know? It had I a mean, little flavor text, but the it's it's kind of just like nobody knows what this alien creature uh, is. Oh, so it's not from. Anything no. specifically? I believe I believe it's an original creation. Wow. Really cool. His origin is shrouded in mystery. Uh, what? Yep. Shroud. Shrouded. Shroud. The shroud of mystery. So cool. I like, I like how this these thing. are almost like these almost look like faces, but yeah, yeah. Like, like the turn eyes. It, but it also just looks ambiguous. Yeah. You could do a cool custom on that, probably. Uh, is that that's Let's do a custom show. I like holding that. it like this. <laughs> feels good it's like a pimp cup with nothing in it it's a pimp alien paleon <laughs> oh i go to that festival paleon festival paleontologist yeah they study pimp aliens <laughs> <laughs> exclusively it's pretty cool. all right very cool so thank you again for that and you guys don't forget to check out magitarius.com for your own I broke it. can i have a couple other things did for you me? really no i didn't it's fine damage. it's fine look everything's back to me <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things. What do you want next? How about those? These will be quick. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Dead by John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so real quick, we have the Pop, Ash, and Deadite figures, of course, from Funko. And of course, 10 bucks each. Rip it open. I've been dying to rip these open. Pop has Dead. done it again. So as you may know. What's up? Whoa. Um, oh. Nice. Is he supposed to stand oh. on it? Oh, but I think no, it broke off. There's no peg. The peg is in his foot. Oh. Well, that's dumb. Somehow he broke off in the... In the package? Package. Why does he need it? He doesn't really need it. He has it. a cape. Like, he has a three-point stand. Like, it's because it's a Funko thing. I've never seen a base on one of them. That I is weird. Think. I bet you it hmm. doesn't stand very well it's on fine, people's whatever. desks, so they put yeah. that in just in case. Well, that little piece is broken anyway. Whatever. And why didn't they just make it so he didn't, wouldn't need a stand? Maybe no, he just needs. make his feet a little just bit bigger. Just make his feet a little bigger. Yeah. Like, that would have been fine. It's weird. Hi, little Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Hi, 
How do we like this? I like it. Or just like put it. this at a different angle so that it... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can't turn his arm. His arm doesn't turn. No. Out. A deadite is cool. I think these are super cute, and it again, it's a, because I'm a fan of the property. Yeah. The the pop. I mean, some of them are cute. Some of them work. Stuff like the supernatural to me. Like, have you seen the supernatural? You're like they're dudes. Yeah. They're just dudes. Yep. And that it's the same. Work. Yeah. It's the same with the um, reaction. the uh, reaction figures. Yeah. They just look like a ra random guy. Like, some of the Goonies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just a guy. But these are very specific character, you know, iconic characters. Yeah. That work in a stylized form. Yeah, I like... And several it. of the pop do work that way. Yes. I like the, um... I like the Deadite. I tell you, He's they good. make... They make enough that eventually everyone wants at least one. Like... They make enough that everyone will have at least one yeah. in their house. <laughs> Like, there's something... Eventually, they're going to make something that you like. Yeah, that's true. This says, collect the entire line of Funko Pop movie super stylized vinyl figures. There's no way you can collect no. all of them. This is number no. 53. And Who I know they're all? doing, like, sports figures now and stuff, sports. too. Sports! So really? they're getting all... Yeah. They're getting Whoa. all that crazy stuff going, so... These are cool. I like like football guys and stuff, so yeah. They're going to... There's going to be at least one pop in every household by next year, I think. All right, so those are cool. I like those. Go buy. Actually, the I think the paint bucks. on those is better than some of the other. Yeah, it's actually not them. terrible. It's like, really good. You know what? They've gotten better. No, Maybe? not always. Because we opened really? up Big Lebowski recently that was not not better at all. I've no well because I have a few, and at least the experience I've had compared to like some of the older ones I've had is they've gotten better. That's good. So. I hope they do. Excellent. Maybe, yeah. All right. Maybe they have their own factory. Want to bring that out? Bug assault! You guys, George, you, here, George, you discovered. Nerf gun? This. Not a Nerf gun. This wonderful <laughs> find. Um, so, this is called Bug Assault. Um, not Get necessarily a, assault. a toy, but I've really thought that everybody who watches this show would probably enjoy it as much as I would enjoy this. Okay, with it being said that it's not a toy, it's yes. totally a toy. It's not a toy. So we, a toy. We, we were playing with it as if it were a toy. Should we just show the video? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll come back and talk about it? Sure. And it's just cardboard. Come on. Okay. <sighs> There's one right on, that, right on that thing back there. Yeah, get closer. Get closer. I see him. Oh, right here. See? Ready? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mouth. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> dude, I hit him. Oh, there's one right on the edge of the dumpster. Oh yeah, you ready? You ready? Yeah. What the? I think you missed him. No, I didn't. The hell yeah. Though. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea of what this is from the video, but in case you don't, uh, this is a fly swatter. This is a modern day fly swatter. Um, it is pretty awesome. You load the salt into this little pea, oh, I got salt everywhere. You load the salt into here, you know, it doesn't take much, just need a couple, you know, a little bit in there. Um, lock the lid back on. It's air pump, you just pump that. It puts up the sight so you can look through the sight and then you just gotta touch this little lock, lock back there. And then fire. you can fire your bug of salt. And it shoots out a little spray of salt to kill your fly. It, it works. I mean, when we figured out the right range from yeah. where to hit well, the fly. Did it ever kill any of the flies we hit? We were outside, though. I mean, who knows? They fell into the dumpster. I don't know if they're dead, but they're definitely crippled. <laughs> if they're not dead. <laughs> we jacked them up. <laughs> I, and you know what's weird is I, I almost think that even if there wasn't salt in there, that the air blast would... Poof them off. It would at least it, it's a shoot pretty, them around. Yeah. yeah like, and I mean, you saw in the video we were shooting uh, OMFG... You can, you know, it's, you can, if you just want to play with something that's going to shoot your little figures around and it's, all it is is salt. So it's not really going to like, I mean, repeated hitting of a figure will probably hurt it eventually. Eh, maybe. I eventually. Doubt it but it's not really, it didn't do anything. When but we, we shot the tinfoil. We shot the tinfoil, the tinfoil, uh, the tinfoil. You could see if we were close, it actually went through like a little thing. But if we were a little bit farther away, it kind of gets like a shotgun blast where it's like, just shoots mm -hmm. everywhere. Um, we shot each other just because, of course, course. it says you, you, not to, but you have to try it. You it says to not to? Yeah. Yeah, it says oh. everywhere. Oh. Everywhere it so says. Actually, like, it just says don't shoot in face and eyes. Right, that's true. It doesn't face say hands. And we didn't do it that. It never says don't shoot. 
Um, so we sh- it, it just People. feels like a tingle. It really didn't like. Yeah, it didn't hurt. Yeah, it didn't really hurt was, or anything. It was like a surprise. Like oh, like almost oh, you know what it felt like when? Did you ever pick up one of those um, shocking pens, the joke pens? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it yeah. Feels yeah. Like it that. kind of yeah. feels like that. Yeah. Um, but one of the one of the reasons to get this, if you do have flies in the house that you want to get rid of, they you know when you use a fly swatter, you're basically like. Smushing, smushing a fly and it's getting everywhere or sometimes flies are like in a corner and you can't get to it with a fly swatter um you'd be able to nail them with this thing and True. it doesn't splat the fly like it doesn't break the fly open and get crap <laughs> all over your house like um so it's i don't know i thought it was a kind of a cool invention i gotta thank adam for posting it on facebook <laughs> um he doesn't watch the show but you know just in case he ever does um <laughs> And then we got to thank the bug assault guys for sending it to us because we, you know, it's really cool. You guys. They, they sent it to us as a uh, promo item, so it's it's really it's awesome. Way cooler than I thought it was going to be, and also it seems to be really well built. And I love how it's got all the little accents of like, you know, there's little flies on the side. Yeah. You know, it's not because sometimes you buy a toy gun and you're like, oh, that's kind of boring. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, there's no, nice. it's no this battery. Really cool. There's no batteries or anything. Yeah. No batteries. All air action. It's all just air pump. Really cool. I recommend it. It's 40 bucks. They say it shoots shoots a shotgun-like spray of salt up to three feet away and kills flies on contact. I don't know about three feet. Do you think three feet would... Um, yeah, we had to find that range because we noticed, it's, too, if it was it too was close, close that it wasn't getting there. It kind of missed the it fly. Missed, it moves yeah, away faster. It, you ha- I don't know what... I guess it was like a, a foot and a half we found out was a good distance. Yeah, so. I think in the video they said 24 inches, but I'd say oh. even just a couple inches closer than that worked for us but who knows maybe we have low quality salt <laughs> um and it does say you get um Fake you salt. get like 50 that. shots per fill of that little thing really? and i mean we were out there for a while shooting a bunch of shots and it's still not empty i mean yeah we still got salt in there nice so uh it's i don't know i think it's worth it it's a it's an awesome product so if you really want to mess with someone uh Dude. recommend having a nerf gun fight with your friends and then and, bring this. And then bring that. <laughs> and while they're shooting you with a Nerf gun, you can sneak up behind them and shoot them with that thing, and they'll have no idea what hit them. <laughs> Don't just shoot totally, your friends. Be totally shocked. Like, t- Do not shoot and face her eyes. It didn't say face anything else about eyes. the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not loaded. I wouldn't well, do that Well, what's weird is, a... like, you know, the, there's, like, actual salt guns that shoot salt. So I'd imagine, like, if it breaks the skin, it's going to sting like hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, I don't think this will that, ever break skin, That won't skin, break though. skin. I mean, maybe if you were, like, right up on you, it might. I don't might... even think then. Maybe. I think, I, it, mean... I think it probably will if you're close. If, if it, like, touches you. I wouldn't get closer. Let's try it. Put your hand yeah, on it. No way. <laughs> no way. I'm I... not going to be the test on me for this. <laughs> but it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, if it's salt, it's really going to sting. Uh, so what's the website? Bugassault.com. So B-U-G-A-S-A-L-T. Bugassault.com. And it goes for 40 bucks? Would you like to open some blind box? Yeah. Let's do, it. do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> so this was sent in from a viewer. Ooh. Uh Frank. Thank you, Frank. Frank you. Perfect. Uh, he actually of them. sent these he, he got <laughs> a hold of these early before the mini before the Simpsons minifigures came out and sent them into us and uh, that was a long time ago. I'm sorry, Frank. So, but thank you for sending them. Hey, there's salt everywhere. Hey, weird. Um, the Simpsons minifigures. Who do I want and need? I um, think we still need a, quite a few of these, actually. So I actually this is would cool. need Marge. I don't have Marge. I don't think we have um, Flanders or Itchy and Scratchy either. And I don't think we have... I'm not sure if we have Mr. Burns. Boo Burns. I want a Krusty. Oh, look. I Grandpa, the else. one I do have. I like the newspaper he comes with. It is cool. But I already have them. I want a do-over. Oh, Flanders. Oh, look, there's a do-over for me. Ah. Uh, what was the on for? You stole the... Oh, uh, I got a grandpa. Too. Oh, so come on grandpas. with the grandpa. Come on, man-pa. <laughs> Why you give me a grandpa? I thought that was your nickname for George. Mm, that's just man love. <laughs> Whoa. And then I got Ralph, who, if I... Did sound disappointed. It's not true because I already have him, but I, I this is the one I wanted. So I love his hair on that. Yeah, <laughs> so bad. And his I choo choo choose you mm-hmm. Valentine. I heart South Paws. That's those are really glasses done well. are so funny. Not much to say about these. I mean, they're 
Lego minifigures. If you like Simpsons, they're awesome. Yeah. Totally. They look exactly like the characters. Mm-hmm. What else is on here that we don't have yet? Quite a few, I think. I have, I yeah, I haven't seen the Itchy and Scratchy at all. Oh, burns. Yeah, we do need burns. And I haven't... Oh, well, we don't have Wiggums either, I don't think. Have you guys seen the Krusty? Or do you have him? No. I think we have Krusty. Do we? Yeah, I think we do. I haven't even seen him. I would like a Millhouse because I like the comic he comes with. We have... Oh, there's the ones right there. I don't have Homer either because I would like the remote. No, we don't have Homer. We have mm. We have Millhouse. We have Ralph. Oh, we, we have, have Millhouse? Scratchy. Um, we don't have Itchy. The Itchy and Scratchy Show. But I think all uh, the ones really we just March. got, we have already. Aww. So these are all doubles for us. That's okay, though. They're fine. The Grandpa is a triple, actually. I don't mind his newspaper, so that's fine. Yeah. All right. More toys. So thank you, Frank, for sending those in. That was awesome. Thank you. All right. Before, well, kind of a review, but do you want to tell us? You've got something really cool going on in like a minute. In one minute? One minute. Okay, let's well, wait Well, it depends here. on when they're watching. Oh. Oh. I was going to wait a minute. Um, this thing. Yeah, that thing. It's a new figure that I'm coming out with called the Deadbeat. Hmm. Um, Never heard of it. It's brand new figure. Um, <laughs> first colorway. Uh, no, this is... Um, actually, I can't even tell you what, what number colorway this is. Somebody but out there can. Somebody out there can. Um, but it's a cool one, I think. It's, um, it's a glow-in-the-dark and lime green trans marble so it has sounds a, like you made that up no it's it, it's it's legit so no it's um what's cool about it is it has a glow in the dark um to it but only in parts and everyone's complete each one is completely different it's That's however awesome. the pour came out it's however the pour yeah. yeah so some of them have like the face will be completely glow in the dark and the rest is like kind of here and there this is kind of like half of its face but um yeah so i thought this colorway you know, since the turtles are uh, so big these days, I was like, dude, it's a total mutagen beat. So, um, yeah, this uh, version is called the Ooze Beat. And, um, awesome. And, uh, yeah, I did the header card for it. And it'll be a um, San Diego game and toy. San Diego? Or Singapore. Singapore toy and game convention uh, exclusive. I gotta say, this is so far out of all your headers, this is my favorite one. <laughs> of course, because it's turtles. <laughs> so that's awesome. I mean, so you're gonna ship these overseas and just have somebody sell them for you at Singapore? Touring game? Kind of, yeah. Because, uh, well, no, I'll be there. Oh, you're gonna oh, be there? So you're there? gonna be in I'm Singapore. I'm going to Singapore, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. That's next incredible. Week. Uh, well, actually, I'll probably be there. When you're watching this, when you're watching he's this. probably there. Um, yeah, my first time over there, so it's gonna be fun. I have a bunch of other. Um, exclusives um to sell this so if you're in singapore and you watch this come on out and say hi and um i'll be doing some live painting there and art and signing and there's a panel that Ooh, i'm on you love panels and uh yeah so it'll be fun this is really cool do you know how much you're gonna sell it for those are 60 i think 60 bucks yeah. and again uh japanese they are shofubi Japanese vinyl. Oh, Fubi. So, so, so here, I'm going to pass it back to you. Can I, you want can I have it? it? Sure, I guess. If you I want just want to show it. that hair again because it's my favorite. They can see it. <laughs> show them the ooze beat on the back, too. The little logo. Tribute. All right. Speaking of turtles and glowing. cool things it with turtles. Glowing. Uh, as you may have seen in the beginning of the episode, we have some turtles up here. I love to play turtles. With. Now, these are legit turtles. This these is, are legit turtles. These are made by Playmates. and uh, these They're are for awesome. realsies. Yeah. All right, so what we have here are the Half Shell Heroes, obviously, like you said, from Playmates. Uh, these are two packs of cute little stylized... I got a lot more than two. <laughs> you see what I have to work with, everyone? Seriously. I mean, come on. These two packs of turtles go for $7 each, I believe. Yes. We found these at Target. I haven't seen them anywhere else yet, but they might be... I, I got the full set of turtles at Target, and I, I, I haven't seen them anywhere either. But they're hard to find, I've noticed, because I saw them once and I grabbed them, and I've been back to a few Targets since then, and people people buy them up really quick. Yeah, so. I'm. We must have. Found I think them. we came on the day they loaded the shelves because yeah. they've been empty ever since. Look at Metalhead. Oh, you guys are missing a set. Too. Yeah, 
He didn't oh, have wow. it. Ah! <laughs> Look, now this metal head is about accurately sized with the regular action figures. Oh, yeah. Because he's so cute and little. Yeah. Because he's about half size of a regular turtle. Now, here's the thing. is It says ages 3 plus, and these are clearly made for kids, but, um, but they're cool enough that I want all of them. That is a thing. And you should want all of them because they're super cute. They are awesome. They're, they're almost Imagine X style. Yeah. Not quite, but in that vein of. Yeah. They're kind cute. of in the. They, they changed around Target and now they're next to the Imagine X stuff. Right. Maybe that's why I'm thinking that. Whoa. And I got to say, some of these sets are a lot cooler than others. Like this April set. Who <laughs> that April's rough. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. Did you know this did this? Uh, no. I did not. I haven't opened mine yet. I still have them in the package. That's awesome. Package. Mint. George. This leather head yeah. is amazing. I didn't know it did that. All the vehicles move. They all do they something. All something. I didn't that. know. The wheels move on this Hurry, one. Hurry, open Mikey. Why are you opening April before you open my... Oh, she looks like her head's on backwards. <laughs> that is so weird. What? What happened to April? What happened? Are you okay? Why does she have like a corrugated pants area? Oh, Featherhead. Come Featherhead's on. the best. He's <gasps> the coolest. Oh, he's awesome. So they're not super articulated. They, they are articulated. Uh, each one has, you know, connected legs. So that's mm -hmm. one point, arms, and head. So I think they all have four, the same four. Pretty sure, yeah. So simple articulation, pretty simple paint, mostly. Mikey. Kind of the minimal paint applications. Dude, Mikey's is. just the best. <gasps> wow. Whoa. So that's Mikey's thing. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, that's interesting how they did the crane inside the the robot. Just, just kind painted of him in there. sculpted on top of him mm -hmm. in the middle. Hmm. Interesting. Like his little See, I don't mind this stuff because look at all the toys you get. You get two of these things for seven bucks. Articulated, yeah. And the, t I mean, the, I don't know. The turtles are all great, but some of the other characters look like they might look need some work. Look is. His little face is adorable. That's funny. Can the see? the arms are. Whoa. You can move them like that, but they are separate if you hold the other arm. How does that? It must be rubbing up against it or something yeah. inside. None of these other ones are doing it for yeah. me. Um, I think the, the RAF one is kind of the most offensive <laughs> because the weapons are like webbed. <laughs> they're web They're web pins. Web pins. <laughs> Those are terrible. Um, that's kind of the most yeah. offensive out of all of them. Like, yeah, I feel bad for him. Like, how would, I mean, so here's a question. How would you, if you more. were in charge, what would you do differently with that? Just I mean, they're, because they're obviously, thick enough that I mean, if if these are fine, would you just make them thicker? Yeah. Okay. Like, they're no they're no thinner than I guess maybe that this is probably the minimum thickness. Yeah. So maybe it would look weird, but just make them a little bulk thicker. It up. Yeah. I would rather them be thicker this way, like that. Right. And still be thin that way. Yeah. Because like, if this sword works, like. This is pretty bad. Yeah. This is, yeah, I think I'm bizarre. probably going to take his an exacto and, and chop cut that out. Yeah, that that's little piece gross. out. That looks so bizarre because it just looks weird. <laughs> also, they are sticking to what they've been doing with the pretty much all the action figures across the board for the new uh, cartoon, where they have different shades of green. Yes. For each turtle, which I really like that they're keeping that I do somewhat too. consistent. I think that's super fun. Yeah. yeah, it makes them just a little bit more different than just their colors being. Their Bandanas. Bandanas. Yeah. And weapons. I think these are generally pretty great. April's terrible. Uh, the vehicles are fine. I mean, they're totally fun, though, for play value. I think these are this great April leather. It's like the best. Is so bad. Look at him. Please, can I go out and play? Please. He's good. Oh, and there's a bunch of stuff. Like, there's all sorts of vehicles. Oh, and oh yeah, they, and these are the little um, ones. Yeah, they have uh, two. I know two other sizes. Oh, look at that! There's a this. sewer playset. <gasps> wow. We can't get that. We can't. 
But look. But does he come with does the sewer? Uh, His name's Spider Bites. Spider Bites. Because he's a spider. Mikey and Splinter. Oh, sewer place has Mikey and Splinter. So it's weird. If you buy playsets and stuff, you'll get doubles. Yeah. Like, I don't That's care. That's Like, the turtle the van's cool. Like, I don't need the other vehicles. But, like, look at Shredder's <clears throat> car, though. It's pretty awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's these, and then there's the six inch, six inch, and the twelve inch, and the yeah. twelve. And I think they talk. The twelve inch talks. Um, they yeah. both do. These talk. Oh, the six yeah. inch yeah. too. Yeah. That's awesome. Whoa! Look at that. What? So there's a whole like I think that sewer place. That's pretty awesome. Where's the spider bites? Yeah, but where is it in availability? Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Not. It's not in one it's of the sets. It's weird because it's not in any of the sets. It doesn't, it doesn't come with that. It says Mikey and Splinter come with that. And he's not in any of these sets. Okay, there's some um, fishy going on here. Mm. No, he's fishy's coming. never. Oh, there's something. So Dog Pound and Fish Arachnia Face coming are coming. Arachnia? <laughs> Wait, Sever is Fish Face? Shh. Dude. Spoiler alert, I haven't gotten to that episode yet. Alien spoiled it. All right, so... Look at this. They actually just literally zipped to tie these in. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Which set is that? Who's your favorite oh, guy in that's here? That's the only one that They're, had No, that? they've all had it. Oh, okay. But I didn't realize it because I've been cutting them from They're the like front. They're like actual zip ties. They, yeah. Who's your favorite guy out of all these? That's not a turtle? Or the, ah. I'm going to... Okay, I, I like all the turtles. So I'm going to go with... And then I'm going to go Leatherhead. I'd have to go. I think Leatherhead is the <clears throat> best translation. Yeah. I just, I think the turtles are turtles. So for me, they're... I like Casey better than the turtles. For an, for an accurate translation, really? I think Casey's pretty well done. Considering the type, how stylized they are. Mm-hmm. Easily, April is the worst. Let me see the April. Absolutely. Easily. Also, that. her hair is all shiny and like what? nothing else. I think the arm is on the wrong arm. What's going on? I think her body's on? on backwards. I think that's just a bad sculpt on the on the torso. It's oh, almost like they couldn't figure out what to do with her, so they're just like, "Eh, just... what is up with this?" Somebody arm? else probably sculpted that versus Does it... most of these. You know what though? Here, it's pretty. It good. actually looks better with the arms down. No. Slightly. <laughs> Slightly. You know, okay, I have a problem with Shredder, too. Oh, he's is it? smaller he's tiny. than all the turtles. Well, technically, none of the, Look at how big... Oh, they have faces on their back. Metalhead is next to him, too. Is that supposed to be? I don't know. That's like cool, face. though. But Shredder... Who come on. Why is Splinter taller than Shredder? Can anybody ride anything? I the love foot. that the Krang robots have the, have the ooze. That's awesome. This one's probably the best. Yeah, Leatherhead's Leatherhead. the best. And we don't have Dog Pound yet, but I don't know. He might be pretty You know cool. what I'd like to see is um, what the Mousers would look like. Yeah. <gasps> That'd be cool. I hope they just do everything in this line. Yeah. I want all the bad guys in it. This reminds me of, uh, what was that robot or that chicken chicken run? Remember when they did the little like, yeah. weird weapons? I like them. This is cool. So again, yeah. Target is the only place I've seen them so far. I don't know if you guys know where else to find them. Nope, that's where I got mine. Post it. Where's Donnie? Come in on. the form or on the show notes if you're on YouTube. Does he sit? Oh, he's like a sled. Ooh, it's like a turtle luging. Turtle luge. <laughs> turtle luge. Ah, the pinchers of death. Pinches of pow. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I think we might uh, we might be wrapping it up with that. What? I know. Crazy, I was just right? getting started. More well, toys. maybe. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do some more toys and they can watch on Toy Breed. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, let's tell you about an event coming up. Singapore Toy. Oh no. Oh yes, actually. <laughs> that is but I do not have that info right here. But the Singapore Toy and Comic Convention. Sixth and seventh. September. Um, of September. So even if you're not in Singapore, um, you can still get tickets and go check it out. If, what is you know. that? I want to go. I want Scott. To, I want to go with Scott. I want to go too. Let's all go. Um, okay. Let's go. <laughs> too late. <laughs> too late. No. And then after that is the Long Beach Comic Con, which is a celebration of comic books and pop culture at the Long Beach Convention Center in Long Beach, California on September 27th and 28th. And I, are we missing something in September? Is there something else? 
going on? There's the Circus Posterous show with Chris and Amanda. Yes, that's September 6th. And then I'm sure that every one of the toy stores has a show going on. Probably. Because <laughs> yes. almost everybody does a show when they do a, when they have a, if they have a toy store, they have a show. Well, yeah, you gotta so get check your local out there and check stuff. your local store and support them. Support them. Support do them. It. And lots more fun stuff coming up uh, in the next few episodes. Thanks for joining us for all this stuff, Scott. Oh, and definitely. Yeah. It's always a blast. A bug blast. assault blast. It's such a. Bug. It's always a salt blast. Bugus. All right, that's it for episode 322. Don't forget to check the show notes at toybreak.com for links to everything that we talk about. Uh, you can see Scott's stuff coming up this weekend in Singapore if you are in the area, in that part of the world, as it were. You can join the contests and discussions in our forum. Actually, this contest that we're doing right now, the Hell Gladiators, on Facebook. So go like Toy Break on Facebook and join over there. Make a post about that to enter to win the Hell Gladiator, which is an awesome custom. Uh, you can also support the show by doing what you do every day, which is shopping on Amazon. So just click the Amazon link on Toy Break and shop as normal. That's it. So easy. You can also call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook, again, at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, our toy girls, and our full toy break episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can also follow us on Twitter at toybreak. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Mr. Scott Collison Gaspar. And we will see you guys next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone. Bye. Turtle Bye. <laughs>